Today, I'm gonna to give you a little insight into how my mind works. It's pretty odd. I was untying my shoes, looking at the bows and realized the only reason that we tie our shoes in a bow is so we can untie our shoes. Now that's not the strange realization I had. Of course it was, but it led me to think, this is the reason that we file the way we do. Not so we can just put the files away. It's so we can find the files when we need them. So we can untie our shoes. So I'm gonna do a little screen share here today and show you how I file some of my jobs so I can find the information I need when the time comes. So here's a screen share. As you can see here, I use uh, Microsoft Teams, and this is my primary shared folder. Uh, the one I'm gonna show you today is my leads folder, which is, which is where I start every project. In here, you will see that I have a template folder. I've created this template folder with every basic file folder that I want on every single job. It includes a copy of my basic contract, releases of liens, subcontractor information, I'll open that in a second. Uh, but what I do is I make a copy of this file and I rename it, and as you can see down here, for the ongoing leads that I have that I'm working on for estimates, et cetera, et cetera. If any project gets old, no one follows up, and uh, I considered it an old project, I move it down here into stale leads. I don't delete the project. I move it into stale in case they do call back again, which happens, and then I have all of their information. I just bring it back up, move it back up into this uh, leads folder. So let me open the template project here. I'll show you a little bit of how that's set up. Um, I've got my contract information, any correspondence uh, that's not used that much anymore with email, but sometimes I do get correspondence and I don't know where to put it. Uh, my original estimate files, uh, I've got subfolders in there for the plans. That's where I keep all of my bids from my subcontractors. So I know exactly how I put that estimate together. And when I turn this file over to the project manager, they have all of that information at their fingertips. Uh, photos, pre-construction and construction photos, just so I have a file of them. Always good reference down the road. Uh, request for information, just keeping a log. Any scheduling information that I might want to record. And then in my subcontractor folder, I have that broken up into a very large detail list of every phase. And each one of these phases correspond to my accounting codes. So you see the 03100 here under concrete, that's my accounting code for concrete, so they're all in alignment. Uh, I will back up here a little bit, if I can remember how to do that. Um, go back to the leads folder. Uh, once a project, once a lead becomes a project, I then move it over into my projects folder and I give it a job number. And that corresponds again to my accounting job number. And all that information is then stored there with all of the history of how we came to get the job, a copy of the contract is in there, and everything the project manager needs to move forward with the project. Uh, so I will stop sharing now, if I can figure out how to do that, I'll stop the share. So that's kind of how I think, that's how I file my information. Uh, other information within the company is filed in a similar way. But hopefully seeing that can help you set up your filing system. I do this on the cloud so my project manager can grab it as they need to. And I can grab it whenever I need to from wherever I happen to be working. So all of this information is always available. That's what I do. It's kind of how I think. The most important thing is that you set up a structure for your company the way you think and how you want it set up. I kind of look at stuff going, okay, if I were going to look for it, if I were going to look for it, where would I look? That's how I set up my filing system. You don't have to do it this way. It's better if you do it your way. It's your company and setting it up the way you want is the beauty of owning and running your own company. I hope this helps. Have a great day. Have fun in quarantine. 
This is all going to be over. We're all going to be back to work, but this is a good time to set these kind of systems up if you don't have them already. If this information is valuable to you, drop me a note. I always appreciate some feedback. Please share this information if any of your contacts could benefit from it as well. We'll see you next time. Have a great day. Thank you very much.